We've just launched a website for Desktop Commander, a tool that allows Claude to read files, edit files, search in the files, run terminal commands, processes, set up things. And as we launched it, we wanted to perform well in search engines. And one thing you need to do is to run a lighthouse to get a report on its performance, accessibility, best practices, and how well it's optimized for search engines. And you can see that we do have some problems with performance and accessibility. And below here, it also tells us what kind of things we can fix. Like we need to set width and height for images. Images are too big, not optimized. There is large contentful paint, uh, like contentful paints, elements, and so on. A bunch of stuff. And as far as images go, I would need to go and convert them to better formats, resize them, do a lot of things, make changes in the page. And I'm just too lazy for that. So let's do something else instead. Let's ask Claude with Desktop Commander to fix it for us. There is already a URL or other path to where the site is and tell it there is index.html in that folder. Can you run Lighthouse against it to get a report? Make JSON report you will read yourself, but only in small parts, not whole. I don't want it to overrun its context. And uh, yeah, and also generate HTML one and open in browser for, for me to read. Okay, let's go. Let's see what's going to happen. So it's checking if the file exists. And then it will try to run a lighthouse to generate. Let's see what it's doing. So it's, yeah, it's trying to run a lighthouse. Then it's going to open HTML1, and then it's going to analyze the JSON. I actually expect it to fail initially, because I think it needs to run on the server first to host on localhost this. Like, and it does that, yeah. Now it's running it on 8080, and it's opening in Chrome the website. So we have a website here, and it's doing things with it. Okay. So it's running, I think, Lighthouse after that reading results checks allowed directories okay so it generated the report it's reading okay it finally opened it for me in the browser and we can see numbers those numbers are slightly different than what we got and we can compare so we have 79 64 71 in our run on the real website we got 82 64 71 but the suggestions are more or less the same. So it still speaks about large images and wrong sizes and wrong formats. So what we can do now is we can ask it to fix those things. Still reading a lot. So it's checking image optimization recommendations. And now it finally got to uh, telling us what it learned. So it learned how fast it is, what are the scores, that we have pretty bad accessibility and best practices, CEO is good, Major issues are render blocking, CSS files. Um, largest contentful paint is kind of slow. The here image is bad. There are off-screen images and not responsive images. Great. Next thing we want to do is to ask it to fix those things. Look, can you fix the images for us? And then run again. Let's see what's going to happen. So it will help me to optimize. It creates a directory for optimized images. Okay. What else? It executes a command to convert them. Check the status. Now it optimizes the testimonial images. It calls them case images. Optimizes the logo. And what does it do now? Let's check optimized images sizes. Uh, that looks great. We've significantly reduced the sizes. So let's get more context about case images. Okay, let's check how the logo is used. Perfect. Now we'll make changes to HTML files. It's reading the file. Mm -hmm. And now it starts to edit and not like fully writes it as it's only the blocks. We can see that it changes image from header PhD to optimized images in headers WebP. And now it edits the next block around logo. So now it's optimizing the testimonials one by one, line by line. Okay, it also optimizes CSS now. Now it tries to run it in browser again. Oh, it opened a new report and it's 98 points. 
accessibility and best practices are still not good, the same as before, but it did fix performance from 79 to 98. Or if we compare it to the run I had, it was 82. And we did it in under 10 minutes and with just two sentences. That's how Desktop Commander works with Claude. Uh, let's take a look. We have some additional issues. We can also ask it to fix accessibility and other things, which I will definitely do afterwards. But I think this is enough for this video. Did you like it? Do you want to try it? Well, there are links below and you will find installation guide on our website. Also, if you already tried it and you like it, and maybe you have feedback, join our Discord community and consider supporting us in other ways. Follow us on social media links that we have down here below. And uh, yeah, consider leaving super thanks or buying us coffee, which you can find on our GitHub page. Kinda here. Yeah, so support us. We are working it to make it even better for you. And yeah, have fun and see you next time.